Always did. So let's see, what else do I want to talk about before I get to the main subject matter of tonight's post? Oh, here's something I posted on my Twitter today, which shocked the shit out of me. Did you guys hear about Tiger Woods starring in a sex tape? And I'm not talking about a parody of Tiger Woods having sex or anything. Let me look that up real quick. I put this on my Twitter, so let me bring it up. I gotta read this to y'all, because I, uh, I was out having coffee a little earlier today, and uh, I saw this, and I was like, what? What? What in the world is going on? All hell is breaking loose. I'm telling you, all hell's breaking loose. Here it is. Mystery porn company snags reported Tiger Woods sex tape. Now keep in mind, report it. Report it in the word alleged. Those can be interchangeable terms, okay? But let me read it to you. This is from xbiz. xbiz.com. Mystery porn company snags reported Tiger Woods sex tape. One of Tiger Woods' mistresses is claiming she has sold a sex tape featuring the golfer to an adult production company, but the purchasing studio is still a mystery. Radar Online reports that Devon James, whose real name is Melinda Jeanette, and her husband Nick James expect to make millions. We'll see about that. Quote, We're going to sell the video online and get half the profits of all sales, James said. The couple reportedly met with a major adult studio to discuss the sale of the tape, but the company backed out. James said the studio featured Tiger's, or feared Tiger's lawyers. Quote, ultimately, we found a different company and they gave us $350,000 down with a projected sales of $50 million total once it's out. End quote, James said. James said the website will be launched soon and will first feature a teaser for the tape. According to Devon James, she secretly held on to the tape, which features 37 minutes of her and Tiger having sex. It will be available October 20th. Hmm, so what's gonna happen with that? I don't know. Look, you know, um, I don't think that's gonna work out. I don't think that's gonna work out at all. Um, I actually don't think, considering everything that Tiger Woods has gone through, that his, um, I guess he's divorced now, I'm not certain, I can't remember, that his kids have gone through and been exposed to that will be, like, haunt them for the rest of their life, um, everything that his wife or ex-wife went through, are you going to really tell me that you're going to be that greedy? I mean, I know times are tough, but there's so many other ways that you can make money. I mean, that's pretty... Just remember, people, when you fuck somebody over, it's going to come back to you. So think twice about the actions that you take. Please, people, please. Um, I don't know about that. I don't know. But, um, you know, I do like to talk about adult industry. Anyway, aside from that, I do like to talk about adult industry um, technology and potential technologies that could dramatically affect the adult entertainment industry. And I was reading this article today about um, how, I, I, I talked about this before on the show, about Google TV being launched, and I believe it's going to come out for the holidays, and they've already partnered up with quite a few networks and advertisers and everything, so um, that's the future. That's the future, adult entertainment people. Um, I would say, go ahead and start optimizing your websites and everything to um, be compatible and to optimize the Google TV technology because I think it's a great that Google has recognized that um, people do want to watch what they want to watch, when they want to watch, how they want to watch, and that regular TV, regular DVD, all that kind of crap, even, you know, it's all passe, it's gone, it's over. Everything nowadays needs to be optimized for video on demand viewing. So I'm really excited to see this Google TV, who knows. Um, Maybe I'll be able to afford one for the holidays. Maybe not. Who knows? If you're a rich person out there and you want to buy me one for the holidays, feel free. 